Uh, today I've decided to tie one of my tube intruders. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be tying on a Pro Tube Fly Systems tube. Uh, these guys are pretty cool because they they really give you the ability to change uh, length, size, weight uh, with these little um, slide on pieces of weight here. Uh, and then they also have a lot of different um, attachments, cones, uh, propellers, stuff like that. So we're going to be tying with uh, some purple 6 out uni thread here. And these are cool because you can tie the fly right to the back because the hook actually just junctions into the tube rather than adding a little bit of junction tubing. So we're going to start in the back here. Instead of making a little dubbing ball in the back here, you actually just take some chenille and you wrap the chenille making a small little ball here. And that really helps flare out the material a little bit. Uh, so you can kind of get that going. So since the first thing we're going to fish for this season is going to be king salmon, I want to make something that's super bright and obnoxious. So today we're going to be tying with pink ostrich uh, and um, purple, most everything else. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take four or five little pieces of pink ostrich here. And we're going to tie them in on each side. Kind of Edward style here. I said just. I like to look for when I'm looking for material for these things. I like to really look for the finer tipped ostrich. I think it really kind of gives you almost that real look. Uh, so you can see it kind of gives you a little wide profile on the back here. So for the body, we're actually going to tie, we're going to use black four strand floss. The inside of this is going to, the belly is going to be slightly darker uh, to kind of give it that look. Uh, and then what we're going to do for the rib is we're going to use some holographic tinsel in large just to kind of give it some extra flash. So we're going to tie all this stuff in back here right by the... Back here. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to actually use another little rooster saddle here to make a rib. Uh, I'm going to tie it in from the tip. I'm going to st strip a little bit back here. Tie it in so it gradually tapers out when you get closer to the front of the fly here. So I'm just going to tie this up. Get right about to the front there. I was 18, my brother was 21. One Saturday evening, when all the work was done, we went down. Back half in the body, front of the body. So, taking a little bit from Ed Ward here, and I'm going to be making a spun deer hair cock. Do a couple turns here and spin her around. Alright. So, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this front flare down and kind of even it out a little bit. So I'm going to keep some of that on here to help with pushing out that ostrich. All right, there you go. So now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to make a, make a dubbing loop 
for some ostrich. So the dubbing looks cool because it really gives you a nice even profile here. So I'm going to throw a little dubbing wax on here to keep the, kind of hold the ostrich in place. Pull off about fifteen or so fibers here. I was 18, my brother was 21. One Saturday evening. That's it. Gonna give you a nice even wrap. So I'm just gonna trim off these little butt ends here. Make one more dubbing loop, because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make. Do a little purple accent again here, uh, and it's gonna be with I'm gonna just wet these guys down, get them out of the way. It's gonna be with Lady Amherst feather here. So make sure you keep your ostrich here out of the way. So now we got it spun. I'm just gonna. Wrap it around here, see if we can get a nice even distribution. Alright, now we got it pretty evenly distributed. I'm gonna trim it off, trim these little fibers here. Extra. I'm gonna finish this head and really, you know, already got a relatively large profile here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add big slap and feather add a little bit more motion in the front and just give it a little bit fuller of a of a head so we're gonna twist this guy in here So this really just adds to that bulky, bulky head. Just gives it almost a little comb. There we go. So now we're gonna kind of make a purple small thread cone head almost out of the thread excuse me purple cone head really get all that material kind of laying back a little bit oh, excuse me a couple wet finishes trim her up And then with my bodkin, I'm going to take a little head cement. I'm going to all the way around and seal that thread. So, there you go. You got a big, obnoxious. About six inch long intruder there.